Sword Art Online, the new animated film for you guys, is now out on the big screen, and you can all go check it out. This movie is all about some people who get trapped in a video game, but the catch is, if you die in the video game, you actually die in real life, and the only way to exit the game and log out is to complete the game in its fullest form. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And let's jump straight into this review of Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online Progressive Hoshina Kiyoru no Aria. Okay, so this is an anime that I am not familiar with at all. I just saw the trailer for it when I went and watched a movie it just they just played it and i was like cool you're gonna check it out now i'm personally so as you guys know i don't know anything about this anime so personally going into this i'm completely blind and i can tell you right now after watching this movie you don't need to know anything about the anime i don't know anything about it but this really set up a lot of things it it really felt like that this was already the start, like, if I didn't even know, this would be the start of the anime. That's what it feels like, because we pick up right where the game officially comes out and they get stuck in it for the first time. So, I don't think you need to watch the series, but it does make you want to watch the series now, if there is one. I'm pretty sure there is one. But it makes you want to go and watch it now. So, what did I think of this movie? I'm going to tell you guys right now, I enjoyed this movie. I really, really did. I thought it had its great moments as well. But, it also had some issues with it. The first issue, I must say, is the pacing of the first hour. So it's an hour and a half, so it's not a long movie, but it feels a lot longer than it should be. The first hour is all the setup with the characters in the real world, and it takes its time because it feels like it feels like a first movie in a trilogy or something like that. So they're building the characters. They are building the world. They're trying to get you invested in all that stuff. But the pacing, it just doesn't feel like it moves quick enough. It feels like it takes a lot of time to get to where we want to get, where we are actually in the game. And it also, feel, it, it, this is literally what it feels. It feels like, you remember those, when you play games like Far Cry, anything like that, and you've got to do that freaking annoying first mission where you have nothing. You don't have any equipment or anything like that. And you're just like, I don't want to do this mission. I know how to play the game. That's what the first bit of this felt like. It felt like we were on that sort of mission, like leveling up to a certain level so that you can go take out the bosses and stuff like that. So the pacing at the start, bit of an issue. Some of the characters, they were all right, but we mainly focus on three particular characters throughout this movie. One of them, the guy, is absolutely badass. I really liked him. I thought he was incredible. He was cool. And he was awesome, and I really liked the ending of this film with him as well. It was boss. He, he, the guy's just a boss, man. But we mainly focus on the two girls of this film and their relationship. They are friends in real in the real world, and they're friends in the game as well. And I did like their dynamic, and there is some a twist that happens in this as well that it worked for me. I understand why that particular character did that. I could understand that, especially being in this situation where if certain things happen and you die in the game, you die in real life. So it makes 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 a lot of sense. The score is incredible. I really like the score, especially in the final battle. The final battle with that score is absolutely fantastic. The animation is brilliant. It's fantastic. Flawless. Can't fault it at all. But I think what makes it, makes this movie good in my opinion and makes me enjoy it quite a lot was that final battle of the way that they work together, the strategic elements. This wasn't just power-based. And that's what I like about it. It's strategic. They're working together. The three main people are all working together. They are working with their different styles, their different fighting styles that they use. And it's awesome to see. And I like how they gave you that raid feeling. So when you play like a League of Legends or Warcraft or whatever, those type of games, and you go in a group and you raid. You do a raid. That's what happened in this. And I liked how they add those video game aspects. So it makes it feel like you are in that video game world. Which is awesome. It's great world building. And it makes me want to play this game. 
Like, is there, is this game exist? Because I would love to play this game. It makes you want to be in that world with them. It's awesome. And I love the colors that they use, the way that they use the special abilities of the weapons and the colors that they use. Brilliant. The designs of the bosses and the monsters. Incredible. Really, really cool. I really like that. Some of them look very menacing. Some of them look very cute, cuddly. And then others just look like freaking badasses. And I like that about it. So overall, I like the story of this. It makes me want to watch more of this now. I'm invested. I'm interested. I want to see where we go from now on. Because the way they set it up, there is a lot that they can do with this. There is a lot. This whole movie just covers one level. Just one level. So there is a lot to go. 99 more levels to be exact. So I would highly recommend checking this out. If you're an anime fan and you've never heard of this, this is one that I think you should check out and you will enjoy it and you will like as well. If you're into that fantasy video game sort of stuff, you might want to check this one out as well. It's quite good. The characters are decent. Story is decent. The first bit, pacing issues, yes. Score's great. Animation's great. The final fight, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. So, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash down in the comments below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.